Amazon Kumseya. From my childhood, I used to go to the valleys, especially with my uncle, Sana Atallah, who was the first Palestinian zoologist. He finished his PhD in the U.S. and then unfortunately he died in a car accident a few months after he finished his PhD. His dream was to eventually build a museum of natural history. He didn't get to do that, but as a child I committed to finish his work following his footsteps. My wife and I, after we returned from the U.S., we donated $250,000 and we started this Palestine Institute for Biodiversity and Sustainability in 2014. And the museum grew faster than we expected. From its beginning 10 years ago, the museum grounds became an oasis of peace and a magnet for people from around the world, seeking to help people and nature. In 2014, we started as a museum. We started to build this place from the building to the building to the building. Today, the situation has changed. We have a museum that serves the visitors, the visitors, the visitors. The museum that serves the visitors to serve the visitors to some of the visitors to the museum. زي البركة البيئية، أنظمة الزراعة المائية والاستزراع السمكي، الحديقة المجتمعية، بالإضافة لحديقة أطفال. This institute serves as a great and unique educational tool for all kinds of people, whether students like I was, children, women, educators. We worked with more than 12,000 school students and more than 20,000 international and local visitors. Our natural history exhibit is also a great tool to teach people and show people all of the biodiversity found in Palestine. We also have a mobile educational unit, which is basically a museum on wheels that we take all over the West Bank to marginalized communities that are not able to reach us. Our institute at Bethlehem University had miraculous achievements that are detailed in our 10-year anniversary booklet. Some of them include leading the efforts to create the National Report for the Convention on Biological Diversity, create the National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan, as well as formulate a new protected areas network. We developed valuable collections including thousands of invertebrate and vertebrate specimens, herbarium specimens, hundreds of zoological and paleontological specimens, rare and antique books, as well as ethnographic, historical, or cultural items. The Institute at Bethlehem University has become not only a national institute, but also a regional and global institute, and a destination for researchers and visitors from around the world. In terms of research, we published 128 research publications, we have also conservation efforts. We did community service, working with farmers, with marginalized communities, with women, to empower them to make sure that they follow their dreams like we followed our dreams. The museum here is an oasis in the midst of the occupation and the war zones. Uh, it is a beautiful place to uh, preserve nature and learn about uh, the biodiversity of Palestine. Uh, I am learning so much as I volunteer here. حابة أشكر المعهد على جهودهم المثيرة في تعريفي على التنوع الحيوي في فلسطين. من خلال الفعاليات التي شاركت فيها حيث زاد حبي واهتمامي لطبيعة بلادي وأدركت أن يجب الحفاظ على بيئتنا لأنها أساس المستقبل. I'm addicted to love of this institution and all it stands for. I love to volunteer here and observe nature and busy people working to leave this world a better place for future generation. I followed the dream of my uncle and with the help of these volunteers and my wife, 
we were able to achieve more than we expected in those 10 years. I want to thank our volunteers and our staff and everybody who contributed to this project. Thank you. We now have less than 100 square meters for exhibits, but we are building a new facility that will expand our previous facility by tenfold. This building will have over 1,100 square meters, and it will have exhibits about the history of Palestine, including the history of the Palestinian Nakba, the destruction of our society as indigenous people, so I think it will be a magnificent museum that will draw millions of people over the next 10 years. This new facility can be completed. We now have two thirds of the funding for it. There's a lot more to be done. You can support us by either donating cash or donating in kind. You can also donate your time by coming and working here as volunteers. All of this can happen with your support, with your help. Thank you.